Hi everyone, welcome to Alpha Creepy Pasta, the show. I think the story we're reading today is um, written by the same person who wrote the Maplewoods one. I think um, because it's got four journal entries, <laughs> and it was written September nineteenth through the twenty third of two thousand ten. Fantastic. So they say. So let's get this started. It's called. Hi. It, this you is. You never said the name of the story. The, I know. I said hi. This is Silent Night, nineteen thirty four. Good job. Hi. I decided to write this journal because my wife Lauren wanted me to record my job. <laughs> you okay. see. You see, the kids, they listen to the rap, rap music. <laughs> you see, I work as an engineer, but the type of work I do is not for the faint of heart. I crawl into tight spaces and fix broken pipes, etc. Okay. He only gave us one example of a thing. So is he a plum? <laughs> is that a real is that is that a real etc though? That, that's not deserving of an etc. <laughs> I earn a good amount of cash because my work is very dangerous. So basically, I work in silos, sewers. You get the point. <laughs> no, I don't get the point. That was only Where else two. do you work? <laughs> I, um, well, recently I got a job in a private sewer. People were complaining of a ticking sound coming from the lid. <laughs> okay. Dude, <laughs> the family's estate was very large and had its own sewer. Private sewer. That's what the private sewer means, yes. They thought there was an explosive device. Okay, somewhere located in the sewer. Well, why would I go in there if they suspect something of this nature? Because they want a job. <laughs> well, as I told you before, I earn a lot of cash, and the family I'm working with is very rich. I doubt that someone has placed an explosive device in the tunnels because the lids weigh about 100 pounds. They're manufactured from solid metal. And then at the end of the <laughs> entry one. Nice. All right, September 21st, 2010. So I woke up around 6.30, hopped in a, sh in a shower. Not a shower. <laughs> he just hopped in <laughs> a shower. And all the usual morning routine. You say a lot of things I made like my that, way to man. the estate in my custom F-450 truck. <laughs> Who cares? Let me just say that the estate was very serene. They were, it was like they were waiting for me to show up. I hope I, they I, were. I think they were. It, I took my tool bag over to the location of the lid. The lid was rusted and it said Silent Night 1934 on it at this time i didn't know what this meant it was a mystery <laughs> i never really cared much so i got my crowbar and wedged it into the crack man was it heavy a hundred pounds while i was attempting to <laughs> made out of solid metal <laughs> september 24th no. <laughs> while i was attempting to remove the lid sweat was running down my face i couldn't remove it just yet so the i sweat or the lid so i grabbed my levy and wedged that underneath <laughs> when it opened a disgusting odor made its way from the hole I gagged and walked back to my truck for a gas mask. Your custom this is definitely F450 this, is, truck. this is definitely written by the same author. It's like <laughs> I gagged and I walked back to my truck. Or a disgusting odor made its way from the hole. I couldn't remove it yet. It was heavy. When I got back, when I got back, the cover was gone. The owner must have taken it because I laid it to the right of the entrance. What? The owner must have taken it because I laid it to the right of the entrance. I don't get it. I shrugged it off and secured my gas mask on my face. I was about to enter, but interrupting my descent was someone screaming, Stop! You mustn't go in there! I turned around, but I never saw anyone. Yeah. It was getting late, and I mm. wasn't being paid overtime. Mm. He got there at 6.30 in the morning. How long did it take <laughs> him to do this? He, okay, so he went, he spent like 20 minutes trying to get it open. He went back to his car. <laughs> his truck was 50 his miles truck, away. His truck was 50 miles away. He came back and was like, you mustn't go in there. You turn around, you didn't see anyone, and it was eight in the, eight in the night. Like, done. <laughs> I made my way to the mansion and rang the doorbell. Nobody answered. I, I jogged answered. back to my truck because I was starting to get freaked out and it was getting late. You already said it was getting late. That was stupid. Um, <laughs> September 22nd. I was making my way back to the mansion. But it was getting late. I already entered the property when out of my peripheral vision, I saw an enormous shape emerge out of the woods. Moose! I thought... <laughs> you need to put a picture of like an idiotic looking moose. moose. I swerved off the road into the bushes. When I got up out of my car, tilted in a ditch, I saw a small stone structure. It was a moose! I walked towards it carefully, and as it, and as it got closer, it looked more <laughs> like a statue. Of a moose! When I was close enough to touch it, I reached my hand out towards the statue and felt cold cobblestone walls. Well, I expected them to crumble as soon as I made contact. Why? Okay. 
Um, I walked around looking for an engraving of some sort, or even a plaque, maybe. I found one on the back side of the statue. It was a bronze polished silver latticed plaque engraved with the words Silent Night 1934. We will never forget. Ever. I was mystified. Scared, even. I'm not. I walked through the boreal forest. Aurora or borealis? <laughs> Leaves crunching with every step. Back to my incapacitated. <laughs> <laughs> it was it screaming, tried. Revive me! <laughs> the truck's incapacitated. I grabbed all my tools that I would need and started my long journey towards the mansion. I must have spent at least two to three hours walking through the forest. Yeah, no I was on high alert for moose. <laughs> Since they Dang would it. charge and trample me. <laughs> Dang it! I was paranoid, so I continued faster towards He's the so mansion. He's so scared of the moose. I could see it after at least 15 more minutes of walking. I was overjoyed by the fact that I was out of the woods. Because of the moose. I walked along a cobblestone path in a bed of sand towards the front door. I rang the bell. Ding dong. Shortly after, an old-looking man in a tuxedo an answered the door. He asked, What is your business here, sir? I am the engineer working your sewer. But on my way to work today, I was almost hit by a moose. Moose. And swerved into a ditch. And I have nowhere to go. I'm sure you can stay here tonight. The owners won't mind. They rarely get any visitors at all. Who is he, then? If he's uh, not the owner... I don't know. But he led me through countless hallways, arriving at what appeared to be an office of some sort. I was greeted by a man in his mid-fifties and a fine-looking woman about 40 years old. A fine-looking woman. <laughs> I told them my predicament, and they were worried and asked if I was hurt. I declined. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, not how you respond to he that. He just folds into himself. I declined. <laughs> but I fell down. The woman said I could stay in the guest room until I finished work here. She gazed intently out the marble trim bay windows over the parking lot and said, My car will be fixed by the time I finished work. Did you tell them the car? The man said I didn't have to work today because of the unfortunate events and to make myself at home. He led me to my room. It was luxurious and had a grand bed with blue and silver duvet covers. I was told that I could watch television and hang out around the house until about 10 p.m. And then leave? No, curfew. <laughs> He's got that, a curfew. Why? He's like 40. I don't know. At the time, I would have to stay in bed. It was already 9.23, so I just laid my bags and tools on the desk and sat on the Victorian-style couch and watched the news. <laughs> so after 10, he couldn't watch TV? <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> yeah. It was 10, so I decided to get some sleep because I couldn't really do anything else. <laughs> yeah, I got it. That's great. That's stupid. So, at September 23rd, 2010, I woke up to the sound of birds swinging sweetly, almost unnaturally. Oh, this is just you talking, not the story. I discussed right? that and got dressed. I made my way to the kitchen, getting lost plenty of times. <laughs> okay. I came to the end of the hallway and started to hear people talking. Are you sure it's gonna be happy with him? Yes, it has to. It needs to happen. <laughs> that is all I wish to hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's everything I wanted in the end. <laughs> Something was up. I left the hallway. Um, hoping... What's that thing in AI? He had never had a birthday before, so they gave him. <laughs> That's all I wish to hear. Something was up. I left the hallway hoping not to be spotted and eventually wound up in the dining room. <laughs> Breakfast was on the table. I said breakfast in this Yet I guy. was the only one there. Well, except for a woman dressed in a sad-looking maid outfit. <laughs> the outfit was sad? She looked sad. Depressed, even. She looked into my eyes, almost saying... Period. You need to leave. But it was only my but imagination. But capital it was only my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I was fed pancakes, bacon, and sausage. <laughs> he, was, he was fed it? He, he was... was <laughs> it's force fed. You will not. You may not use our forks. So we will feed you. <laughs> I, re I refused to look her in the eyes again, fearing what I would think I would see in that woman's dark, unwelcoming gaze. Jeez. I finished quickly and retraced my steps back to my room. My bed was made. I grabbed the tools I would need, consisting mostly of flashlights, one knife, <laughs> many extra batteries, an oxygen tank, and a and an array of various other miscellaneous tools. When do these people have time to write these, like, journals? I found my way to the front door and told the doorman that I was continuing work. His gaze was almost as frightening as the chef hours ago. You mean the maid? I made my way to the backyard plenty of time. <laughs> Wait, chef! I made my way to the... <laughs> Pizza pasta! <laughs> Thinking about Mr. Mix? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made my way to the backyard plenty of yards into the woods. <laughs> he made his way to the plenty of backyards. 
to the cement block with the sewer hole carved intricately into the cement. The cover was still gone. I fastened the rope. Well, shouldn't you see what's ticking at this point? Oh, yeah, I fastened yeah, the right. rope to a rock and tied a special knot onto my belt. They're, these were merely safety precautions. I always like to be safe. Good. I also had extra batteries for my industrial flashlight. Didn't you, you already said yeah, that. Yeah, you said that. I also that. had my tool belt fastened around my waist. You already said that. You already said I continued this. down into the dark void below, shining my light down below. <laughs> <He said that. laughs> Dang it. I kept climbing down to the, the ridges on the wall, but I misstepped and fell around six feet. Jeez. I was startled, but I quickly regained my ga- grasps on the ridges carved into the concrete. The floor felt weird. Were you on the Were you on the floor? <laughs> not as weird as it was water. No, not weird. Not as... weird as it. Not <laughs> weird as in it was water. But something wasn't right. The floor was no. water. I didn't the get that. The floor one. is lava. No, I thought. I was imagining things. I shined my light down the tunnel. I could only make my way to the left. There was a dead end to my right. Yes, that's what. That's why. Yeah, you didn't yeah, to the yeah. Left. So You didn't need. That was a pointless sentence. <laughs> it was somehow rusty. Yeah, because it's in a sewer. <laughs> It didn't look like a sewer at all. Oh, sorry. I began to hear clicking sounds and hot wind on the back of my neck. <laughs> I turned around, startled, but saw nothing. I was now turning around. <laughs> he already <laughs> turned around! <laughs> Checking every minute. I shone my light in all directions. I also I had began, extra batteries. I began to notice that the tunnel was getting smaller. <laughs> around two minutes later, I started to crawl on my hands and knees. It stopped getting small. But now the ticking sound was getting faster. The hot wind had stopped. I was glad. Oh my god! I finally came to realize that the tunnel was getting larger. I had extra batteries in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the moment, I had protective overalls equipped so I wouldn't scrape my knees. I also they had extra on. batteries. <laughs> no, no. At the moment, I had protective overalls equipped so I wouldn't scrape my knees. They still hurt though. <laughs> my feet are. So- I almost banged my head against the ceiling when a soul-piercing scream rang through the tunnels. I turned around and saw my extra... I turned <laughs> around and saw a flash of movement. I now quickly made my way to the back of the exit. But I stopped. Did I really hear that? No, I never did. It's my imagination. <laughs> I was deciding whether or not to continue oh on when God. I thought of what the owners would say. Would they even pay me? I decided to take a break and lie down on the wider area of the tunnel close to the exit. <laughs> I must have wow. slept for around 15 minutes. What? You slept? <laughs> but then awoke by the hot wind of, on the back of my neck. I was then reminded of why I was even doing this. To get my extra... <laughs> to get my extra batteries. It's all for the money. All for the money. I repeated in my head. Don't all for the, the money. money. All for the money. I repeated in my head. <laughs> all for the money. Repeat. I repeated in my head. All for the money. Repeated in my... Quavo. I got back... To... <laughs> Comes in. Ooh. I got <laughs> back... Wait. You, you just add a bunch of reverb to it. Okay, I'll try. (laughs) I got back to the area of the tunnel where I had to crawl on my hands and knees. I already said that. I soon came to the opening, and then my light went out. Good thing you have extra batteries. No, I couldn't see anything. And he reached for a spare flashlight. (laughs) (laughs) I reached for my spare Spare flashlight in my pocket and flipped it on. It illuminated the tunnel in a dark purple glow. I retrieved four more batteries, okay, from my tool bag and inserted them into my main Why flashlight. So many I flipped my main flashlight on, then placed my spare on the ground. It started to roll down the tunnel. I followed it until I could stand up in a, the tunnel, but I eventually lost it. Yeah, I came up battery. to a breathtaking room. It was a cylindrical room with a ridge. <laughs> it takes the breath about from half you. a meter going along the sides. On the inside was a gaping hole. I couldn't see into the bottom. Protruding from the center was a large pillar and gave us a runic language. I was intrigued. I was intrigued. I never thought this could be a sewer. It would have to have some pipes. <laughs> <laughs> there were none at all. Yes, that's but what I, you just implied. But, but I then thought why this was here and why I was why it, it was sealed. It was God. <laughs> I then felt my stomach drop at this thought. <laughs> I shone my light to the other side of the room. There was another opening. I carefully made my way along the narrow ridges, and after about five minutes of walking, I made it to the other side of the room. To the left of the entrance way, there was a symbol. It looked like a Z Z. with a cross going through. I can't describe it any more than I just did. It was almost complicated, but simple. I finally stopped looking aimlessly at the walls and walked into the room. There was a wooden table covered in blood. Someone traced a pentagon Ah, in the blood. What the hell? (laughs) It was the blood speaking. What the hell? Candles were hung upon the walls of the room. I feel like we read. Why did they keep doing recently. capital it? From what it seemed, the room was about five by five meters wide. 
There was also a wooden cabinet. I didn't dare <laughs> also open it. I was afraid of the contents. I again peered around the room. A bookshelf was illuminated by my flashlight. Good. The books were a different language. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to test my luck and slowly open the cabinet. I almost fell to the floor when two corpses, looking exactly like the owners I saw earlier, fell on top of me. I scrambled underneath them. I scrambled! Escaping the crushing weight. So he flies underneath them to escape the weight. <laughs> sure. I grabbed the knife from my pocket, expecting the body to reanimate and attack. <laughs> They, they never, never did. did. Just laid their limp in void of life. Yep. This must have been some satanic sacrificial room. Okay. I was exiting the room when I came face to face with what appeared to be a human, skin colored black as night. Oh, come on! <laughs> I almost never saw it if it wouldn't have shown my flashlight there. I squealed in horror and I grasped my ears in pain. Huh? I dropped my flashlight into the dark void, but I didn't care. I had a spare. <laughs> <laughs> Nice ride. Oh, wait, it rolled into the hole. <laughs> Shortly after I screamed that out. <laughs> There's no quotation marks around it, but okay. Um, I felt a sharp, excruciating pain in my lower back. I didn't dare turn around. I wouldn't be able to see anything. I reached frantically into my pocket, grabbing my backup lamp. <laughs> what? It didn't illuminate much, but it was good enough to see it. three of the creatures with needle-like teeth perched on the ceiling above me. I've seen part two of Mockingjay. <laughs> I scram I then scrambled to get to my feet and ran to the other end of the <laughs> to pit. Get to your feet. I essentially started to <laughs> hear rapid clicking. Was it communicating? Kidding? I hope not. I then you got said that to the, I then got to the part of the tunnel where I had to crawl on my hands and knees. I didn't care if I got cuts and bruises. I already had a gash on my back and I needed medical help. <laughs> Finally, I got to the ridges in the wall, which meant I was by the exit. Light was beaming down the tunnel. I climbed frantically, climbed up the ladder. Yep. Yeah, said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you said it twice. I felt something sharp grab my shoe. I began flailing my leg frantically, hoping for it to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> your leg. It, you want your leg to it, fall off. It did eventually, but I, now I could see the exit. Hole. So he's got. He's missing a leg. <laughs> I was. Let's try and see if he can. I was about one meter the rest away. Of the story work without a leg. When I saw what appeared to be the dead corpse I saw earlier. It looked very much alive and was trying to trap me there for an eternity by placing the cover back on. With inhuman strength, I pushed the cover out from his hands and dropped down his feet. Ow. I began to run faster than my legs. You don't have multiple carry. legs. <laughs> he does. He just worded it wrong. I know. I ran from the estate into the woods and out of this hell hole. I soon became tired and started to jog, which turned into a walk. <laughs> that was lame. I was panting. I was need panting some and water. needed some water. I reached into my pocket to grab my phone and called Lauren immediately. Baby! Come pick me up now. Something terrible has happened. What's wrong? I can't explain right now. I am at the estate gate <laughs> where I said I would be working. I need medical attention. Call 911. I said that. Why don't I, you call me? I then more. sat in silence, staring at the gate, looking at the highway. I didn't think I was imagining things. The owners I saw were not human. The real ones were dead. Oh, how I will never dream a sweet dream again. Go I began to realize why I wasn't dead yet. I surely had a big gash in my back, although I didn't see what happened. I'm sure something was injected or stabbed in my back. I would have died by now from blood loss. Lights flooded the gate, and I saw an ambulance with my wife in the back. That was quick. <laughs> I'd be, I was being lifted into the ambulance by doctors when I screamed out, Look, Look behind, behind you, you, those efers followed me here. <laughs> the efers. <laughs> the efers. <laughs> That's the name of the monster. <laughs> the efers. Your description would be, Look out for those efers. <laughs> My the wife then screamed with horrors, and the doctors sure did hurry up. <laughs> I, we almost instantly hit the road as I said that. The doctors were speechless. I then began to explain what happened to, to my wife. What happened to your wife? Exactly. Both her and me were crying. I couldn't help it. I was traumatized. Although I am better now, I always feel a strange urge to return to the site where nightmares become reality. My dreams become reality. And my realities become dreams. <laughs> or in the, the YouTube poop point, my dreams become reality. And all of my dreams become, become reality. <laughs> All right, let's read that these comments. Really I think there's two of them. Really cool. I give this story 10 out of 10, but not horrifying, though. Don't kill me, weird dead people. And then, nice. Can you come check out mine? F for Shia Razor? F for Shia Razor. All right, sorry, dude. All right, so that was bad. 
Um, it was funny, and it was definitely just, not. It was definitely not the worst one we've ever read. I, it's the casualty which if they regard things, and then how they always have to explain everything they bring with them and do. This would actually like by the end it start. It has like. This, like, introduces a monster that you could make cool if it was written better. Yeah. But then there's just all these weird errors. And, and just, like, stops in the grammar. I then began to explain what happened to my wife. Like, it just sounds... That was stupid. But anyway, I liked it a little bit. I liked it more than I've read other ones. Yes, it has to. You have to like it. <laughs> but anyway, um... It's good. That's gonna be it for this episode of Creepy Creepypasta. Look out um, for Moose. Look out for Moose. Look out for the efers. The efers. <laughs> uh, follow me on those efers. Instagram. <laughs> Donate to my Patreon. You know we never did get to see follow that chef on, again. We did not. Well, we never saw the chef in the first <laughs> yeah, place. Exactly. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you all later. Patreon, Instagram, subscribe, like, sus, comment, share, sus, 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 cease.